Hi guys and welcome back to Football Manager 2018 with Rangers. We're going to be taking on Hibs just now in the Landbooks Premiership. Of course this will give us a chance to go four points clear of Celtic before um, before they take on Dundee United at Tannadice on Monday. game that we actually drew. So our record is actually even against Hibs. Four wins, a draw and four losses. But we are in excellent form where Hibs are having some inconsistent performances. If we actually look at Hibs tactics, they still play with this weird narrow thing in midfield. So hopefully our wingers um, can take advantage of that, especially with the fullbacks on the overload. Uh, there's nobody really we're looking to bring into the team just now. Uh, Advoyage maybe, but not uh, not currently because we're going to be playing this formation just now. Um, we obviously had success in the last game with the other formation, trying to play with the two strikers. But for now, we're going to be going back to this because of Hibbs' narrow formation. We're going to be going with Fulton, uh, Gamboa, Cardoso, Murray Wallace... Maximiliano Oliveira uh, in the midfield we'll go with Henderson McGinn returning of course against his, his old club um, Jamie Burjonas who's unhappy because he wants a new deal uh, Michael O'Halloran Akram Afif and we'll go with Odson Edward who's in pretty good form um, Wes Fodringham Ivanildo Fernandez Jordan Houston Dimitri Mitchell Ryan Jack, Donis Adviage, and Alfredo Morelos will be the bench. So let's go with it. Let's hope we can take out Hibs just now, continue an excellent run of form we're on. Oh, and Hibs have changed the formation. Of course, they have 4 1 4 1 they're going with here. Clearly respectful of the form that we're in here. But ah, Ibrox, we should still be able to get the win. And kick off simply by encouraging the boys as Long plays it to Crawford, who goes back to Wilson. Of course, Danny Wilson making his return here to Ibrooks. Five minutes in, no action to report. But here's Crawford for Hibbs lining up the free kick. Floats one over the top, away by Murray Wallace. A FIFA will pick this up. Hopefully we can get the break. Odson Edwards ahead of him. He takes it out on the right-hand side now. There's a, a runner. Odson Edwards still going. Finally finds O'Halloran getting into the box. Chance to finish. Oh, and it's a horrible sitter from O'Halloran. He's sliced it there. Michael O'Halloran, when he should be just hammering that across the keeper. It should be 1-0. Glorious chance to take the lead early on. And the only chance to take the lead early on, 20 minutes gone, two shots, uh, but only that Michael O'Halloran miss of note. And in half an hour, there's a really boring half, Gamboa taking the throw now to Henderson, hopefully we can create something here. Um, Burjonas picking it up, Afif is narrow, plays it back to Burjonas, he has Oliveira, goes inside to John McGinn, he reverses it to Odson Edward, takes a touch, O'Halloran gets a second bite of the cherry this time, he goes across goal, and it's an assist for Odson Edward, and it is a goal for Michael O'Halloran, finishes low across the keeper, what he should have done the first time, but a packed Ibrox crowd is ecstatic as Rangers take the 1-0 lead, but here's Ali Crawford now, as Hibs try to bite back quickly, flicks it to McGeoch this time, rather than delivering it, McGeoch though, losing it to Odson Edward, comes back to Crawford, plays it forward, away by Gamboa, Edward picks it up, counters on again, playing it forward to O'Halloran, he's got a thief for support he's going to go himself though, O'Halloran, can he finish again across the keeper? He sure can, Michael O'Halloran makes up for that early miss with two finishes across the goalkeeper, three chances created exactly the same way and that left back uh, that left back, you'll be asking questions of him after the game, who is it? It's Paul Hanlon, he has a 6.5 currently I think that's generous given how easily and how often Michael O'Halloran's had that chance as Odson Edward tries holding it up, McHugh will pick it up though for, for Hibbs. He'll go back to Jowl. And then Ambrose and McGinnis now as Hibbs try and build out from the back. It's McGeoch now, holds it up, goes back to McHugh. Too much space for him. He can easily find Crawford and McGeoch. It's a good ball now. Given far too much time and respect here, Hibbs, McGinnis. Oh, he boosts Oliveira. McGinnis gets down the line, it's in towards Long who cushions it just over the bar and thankfully we should take our two goal advantage into the break. Oh, who knows actually, as Fulton takes the kick, maybe it'll be a three goal advantage. Fulton Long, Edward just kind of stands and looks at it but it will be Oliveira to pick it up, nice touch coming forward on it now Oliveira. Then that left hand side, he's got support inside, Ooh, he just gets away with that, but Jonas into Henderson has support, plays it to a thief. Inside to McGinn now. McGinn playing it to O'Halloran who gets in again and this time he's scored his hat-trick. 
It's an assist for John McGinn. He's battered it through the goalkeeper, Michael O'Halloran. And it's 3-0, first half hat-trick for O'Halloran. And he should have four goals because the first chance was just as easy. And Liam Henderson's off injured. Oh, what a sour note to end the half. Uh, Ryan Jack can come on, I guess. A really sour note to end the half, which pretty much couldn't have went any better than that otherwise, other than the uh, the injury, unfortunately, to Liam Henderson. Please, with what we've seen, will we bring anyone on? Um, yeah, we'll bring Jordan Houston on for Gamboa. Why not? And Simon Murray is on for Chris Long on the hip side. Hibs still going with that 4 1 4 1. Hanlon has a still somewhat generous 6.3 rating just now. He's been absolutely roasted today by Michael O'Halloran. Um, as Oliveira throws it, Odson Edward holds it up. It's a good challenge by McGuinness, who's actually looked okay. Uh, forward for Simon Murray, who will pick it up completely isolated, though nothing but red shots. Goes back the way to Ali Crawford. Limited options. He's got Murray ahead again. Murray and Crawford are just going to 1 2 all the way through our entire teams. They're playing FIFA here. Crawford goes back to Hanlon. And McGeoch, and they've got too much time here. Crawford out to Murray. And McGeoch again. He plays it forward to Simon Murray. It's a great ball and it's a great finish. And all of a sudden we've switched off and Hibs are right back in the game. A superb team goal by about three fucking players that we just didn't take the ball off of. <laughs> oh, don't you dare. Gray throws it to McGeoch and now McHugh nicked by Ryan Jack who hits it forward. Odson Edward takes it down. Come on, hit them and make it four. Nope, McHugh pinches it off Odson Edward, goes back the way to uh, the goalkeeper Smith. Can just casually play it out to Jalo. And it's Hanlon and it's Crawford and it's McHugh and here they come again. McHugh out wide to Murray. Houston's got to close him down better than he did a minute ago. Murray now, Houston can't get it but O'Halloran will pinch the... Pinch the pass, McGinn now, and Jack, come on, say this is going to be our chance, O'Halloran, Jordan Houston has some space, find Odson Edward, Houston takes a touch, sets himself for the cross, it's in Odson Edward, there you go son, what a finish, on his head, great cross Jordan Houston, and I'm actually going to bring Donis Advayage on to be a trequartista up front, to run around, make a nuisance of himself, but 4-1, hopefully that just settles nerves a little bit, um, and extinguishes that threat of the, the Hibs comeback. And that was down Paul Hanlon's side again, actually. He's got a 6.1 now. He's had a torrid time today. And let's get a fifth just to hammer the point home. Jack to Jonas now. He takes a nice touch. We obviously are competing um, against Celtic for the goal difference as Hanlon gets to head that one away. Jonas now to O'Halloran. Back to Jonas. There's space here for McGinn. Plays it in for a thief, sweeps it home. Akram a thief, five one to Rangers. And if there was any doubt about how strongly we're motoring on now, five one against Hibs. And it's not a game to remember for the Hibs defence. And remember, by the way, Hibs sitting third in the league, not a mug side by any means. Okay, a little bit inconsistent in the form recently. But they changed it up today, trying to go 4-1, 4-1 to match us up. And we've just ripped them open five times. Excellent stuff from the team as McGeoch plays it forward to Murray. Murray's ball easily cut out though by Jordan Houston. Goes back to Ian Fulton, takes a nice touch, plays it long. And that will be the final whistle at Ibrooks. 5-1. Very pleased with the performance. O'Halloran, of course, man of the match. And Liam Henderson is out for four to seven weeks. Jesus, not good. Four to five weeks since we left it to the physio. Um, but sadly, that means you'll probably even miss the next game against Dundee United, which is also at Ibrox. Well, let's see how the rest of the games go this weekend. Most notably, of course, Dundee United. They can put a dent in the champions. Hearts destroy Ross K one Partick beating Aberdeen 2-1 nice 
St Johnson in fourth, losing 3 0 at Rugby Park. And we look a comfortable way away the rest of the league now. It looks definitely like ourselves versus Celtic for the title. Of course, Celtic still have the potential to just go on a crazy run uh, and put us out of the title race as well. So we need to hope that doesn't happen, of course. They could easily go on a run and win about 12 games in a row. And as much as we're playing really good right now, we're in excellent form. We've won quite a few games in a row ourselves. If they go on a really good run, it's still be hard for us to keep up. Let's let's not forget, if they win at Tannadice, a distinct possibility against 10th place Dundee United, we're only one point clear of them still. So I would still make Celtic the favourites for the league. Um, it's 11th place Dundee United now, actually. Are they going to get something? Ah, 2-1 to Celtic. Draw the league back to one point. Lee Griffiths with two goals there. It's a shame, but there you go. That's what happens. Uh, so, a little holiday to do now. Saturday the 23rd before we play Dundee United ourselves at Ibrox. Of course, when we went to Tanadice, we got a 2-2. Celtic had just went there and got a 2-1. We should really have beaten... Dundee United 2-1 but we let them score a late late equaliser in that one and they got the point um, as that finished 2-2 so hopefully when they come to Ibrox we can trash them obviously in excellent form we just destroyed Hibs there uh, in terms of the team good young side mostly there's a couple of older heads in there but mostly we've got a good young team obviously Ian Fulton and goals young lad okay 29 or 30 I think Christian Gamboa is at, at right back and I think Oliveira is kind of up there at sort of 28 as well so definitely senior players not old by any means but senior players uh, in the centre Cardoso is only a young kind of in his early mid 20s um, Murray Wallace I think is a little bit older uh, we also have Ivanildo Fernandez in there as a capable deputy to one of them, and he's he's a relatively young, I think, as well, early mid twenties. Obviously, Barjonas, Henderson, and McGinn are all uh, all young. Uh, Henderson, early twenties, I believe. Barjonas has just turned twenty or twenty one, I think, and McGinn is early mid twenties, I think. So again, young players in there. O'Halloran's like twenty seven, twenty eight, so getting on a little bit now. Uh, Akram Afif is only young, he's only in his early 20s. Odson Edward is only like 21, I think. And Morelos, I think, is just about to enter into his mid 20s, that kind of region. So we definitely have a good young team here that we can build on. We don't obviously have the money to go and spend 10, 20 million or something like that on a new team. So we have to develop what we have. A um, couple of players as well, like Milanese, for example, who's out on loan. Don't know what way it's going to go with him. Could go either way and whether he might uh, make the grade here to become maybe a rotational player or a backup player. I don't see him being a starter here. But at least, you know, we could sell him for some cash, at least if he becomes half decent, which I definitely think he will. He's got very well spread out stats, shall we say. He's got a lot of 12s and sort of 11s and that kind of thing and a lot of stats. Um, but the main one for me is is Dapo Mabudi, of course, the striker. He looks like he's going to be quality. Uh, he's obviously only a teenager still just now, and he's doing quite well. He did well for Dundee United in the Championship, and he's getting games regularly for Dundee, so he'll develop well for us up front. Still a couple of players like Herrera, for example, I think we need to get rid of now. Uh, Danny Finlayson, I'm still excited to see how he does as well. He's looking quite decent there. He's still only 18, and obviously getting regular games on loan. Who the hell is this? Vanucci, the goalkeeper. He does look pretty good, but we already have a goalkeeper in Ian Fulton, I'm afraid. McCrory as well could come through. He's playing well for Falkirk just now. Ollie Cook, I don't think much is going to happen with him, is it? Well, he looks okay, but he's 21 already. So bulk of his development sadly already gone. Aidan Wilson is 20 years old and looks okay. Maybe not going to make it either, sadly. <clears throat> oh, Ivanildo Fernandez has scored for, for Cape Verde he is only 23 Ivanildo Fernandez he is in his um, early 20s actually not even mid 20s yet so that's good he's got a bright future so yeah a lot of the players in the team quite young still Ivanildo eh, sorry Akram Afif there 
23. He's worth over £7 million now, Akram Afif. That's pretty crazy. I don't think he's that good. Uh, but we certainly do have a good side here. A side, hopefully, that can challenge for the title in years to come. I believe next year is the year we need to win to stop 10. If we look at past winners, Celtic now have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, they have 8. If they win this year, that's obviously 9. And then we need to beat them next year to stop 10. But hopefully we can stop it prematurely. Hopefully we can stop it this year. Uh, Dapo Mavudi getting another goal for Dundee. Did Fopala play well? No, he played for 4 minutes. But he's training well, Fopala. Nice. I'd still like to have seen what happened to Fopala if he didn't get that horrible injury at St Mirren. You know, he was doing okay, and then he went down with a horror injury. Uh, Ross County hosting Celtic at Dingwall. Hopefully we can get a, a nice boost before we play Dundee United. Can Ross County take anything off the champions? Nope, 1-0 to Celtic. Ah, that's a shame. An own goal from van der Weg. Lucky. Lucky Celtic. Dundee United in poor form and we're obviously in excellent form. One win, one draw in our previous meetings with them. So hopefully this should be fairly routine. We're not going to obviously take it for granted, but hopefully we should get through this game. Uh, Henderson, unfortunately, is not ready to come back into the fold yet. Uh, Wayne Rooney won't start, Ryan Jack will be starting, but Wayne Rooney will come onto the bench. And our squad will be as close as we could get it to the starting lineup um, from the Hibs game, and it's going to be Fulton, Gamboa, Cardoso, Wallace, Oliveira, Jack, McGinn, Burjonas, O'Halloran, Afif and Edouard. And Murray Wallace is 26 years old, so not bad, he's still going to be here for years to come as well. A 4-4-2 from Dundee United. Um, Dubai, Freeman, Quinn, Scobie, Robson, um, Sosalo, Lamira, Briles, Cooper, Keatings and Aitchison up front. They're on a good run, go and press me, but Jonas is happy with that. Let's kick off the game and just encourage them. So hopefully we can lay down a marker here against one of the sides who are lower down in the league. Um, punting that one forward though, I'm not liking that. As Adam Rooney gives Aberdeen the lead. And Breels actually has an, uh, has an injury knock for Dundee United. Partick Thistle lead at McDermott Park against St Johnson. Cardoso and Murray Wallace both booked, I don't like that. Uh, four shots in opening 25 for ourselves, but nothing much coming here. I'm not enjoying this one. We need to create much more than this. Oh, it's a corner actually for Dundee United. It's cut back to the edge of the area. Aitchison fires it and it is wide of the goal. But he was far too open there, Aitchison. Okay, I suppose you could say we'll let him go because he's so far out. But still have to be alert to the danger there. He did get a good connection. His hibs go one up against Kilmarnock through Ali Crawford. And we have created not a thing in the first half at Ibrox here. Drast, con eh, drast vast contrast. Um, from the game against Hibs, sadly. Right, let's see what we can do. We're going to have to put them on blast for how pathetic that was in the first half, creating nothing. Um, what do we do? What do we do? Do we go with our diamond? I think we go with our diamond. Um, so Jack can go deeper. Deep line playmaker defend. McGinn can go box to box. But Jonas can be a deep line playmaker. Um, O'Halloran can come off for Avdiage. And the Fief can come off for Morelos. So we can play Morelos and Edouard there. Avdiage, but Jonas begin. Jack, Oliveira, Wallace, Cardoso, and Gamboa. Obviously, leaves us exposed down the wings there. But hopefully, getting the two up front can cause Dundee United's defence more problems. So Salo dumps it down the line, but it will be picked up well by uh, Murray Wallace there, covering his fullback. Eight shots to three, but no one's hit the target so far all game. It's been really poor quality. An hour played and nothing so far. Now here's Freeman, far too much space for Cooper on the side. Cooper nods it to 
Allardyce, I think that is. Uh, away by Oliveira, but picked up easily by Lamira. Plays it to Soisalo. Soisalo trying to switch the play. Well done, Gamboa, spotting that. Hits it long. It's a great ball in the end. Morelos is in. Has to hit the target across the keeper. And it's an easy save for Dubai. Uh, Dubai at his near post. As Berjonas' ball is delivered in. It's headed away well by Scobie. McGinn picking it up. We're not having any luck in front of goal today. As Hibs make it 4-1 against Kelly. Berjonas' header is easily cleared by Allardyce. Flicked on by Aitchison. And Dundee United survive a, a scare, their first scare of the game. Hopefully, not their only scare of the game. But it could be if current trends continue. Let's bring Rooney on for Ryan Jack. We'll throw Rooney up with Avdiaj. We'll play with the two in behind. We're going to go overload now. We kind of need to. I don't really want to get caught at the back, obviously, but we need to push the the issue here. But Jonas finds Cardoso. Cardoso to Avdiaj. There's space out wide here. Avdiaj finds McGinn, but it's far too late. But Jonas now and McGinn. Space out wide again. It's into Avdiaj. Takes a nice touch. Hits a byline. Whips it in. Odds and Edward rises. And he actually makes it 1 nothing to Rangers. Thank God. 15 minutes from time. That moves us back to the Summit League. And it's actually a great assist by Avdi, as you know. We don't have to change Wayne Rooney and go so drastic. Um, just come down to a standard mentality now. And we will bring on... Who will we bring on? We'll bring on Jack Price for Ryan Jack. Why not? De uh, defensive midfielder with a support duty. And he can just sit there, shoot up the defence, tighten up for the last couple of minutes, and see out a 1-0 win. Freeman with the throw, hopefully the ref, the ref does blow the whistle and it is a 1-0 Rangers victory at Ibrooks. 50 minutes something, Odson Edward with his noggin. So there you go, contrasting fixtures there against Hibs, we were absolutely flying, scored five goals, battered them and then against Dundee United, they come, they do very very well, restrict us to hardly any chances, two chances really created all day. Morelos's miss and then the finish from Odson Edward which keeps us just a point above Celtic who also won 1-0 that's the thing champions grind out games like that in seasons past and hell even earlier on this season we would have blown that game uh, not only would we not have scored we'd probably have drawn the damn thing uh, we would prob probably have bloody lost the thing actually if we're honest uh, but there you go, that makes it a run of seven straight victories since that horror show against Hearts. And it's actually a run of, what is that, ten? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's actually a run of ten Premiership victories in a row. We started off with a victory against Kelly, then we had a draw, two back-to-back you know, back -back defeats, and then we've won ten in a row since then. Next time, though, we're going to be tested. Um, next time, we're against St. Johnson and Dundee, and that's, the, that's both up north. Uh, Perth, then Dundee. In fact, oh, Aberdeen are coming to Ibrox, but Perth, Dundee, and then Aberdeen. That's actually, if you don't know if you know, MD knows much about Scottish travel, but if you go up to Aberdeen, you actually pass through Perth, then Dundee, then you hit Aberdeen uh, if you're travelling from Glasgow. So that's an interesting way the fixture computers generated those games. Anyway, um, don't want to rabble on too long. Hope you guys have enjoyed this one. Two contrasting performances and showing exactly what we're going to have to do if we want to win the title. If we can go out there and we can put a bit of swagger on and we can destroy teams, beat them 5-1, 5-0, that kind of thing. Excellent stuff. But when the games come where it's no going your way and you have to dig deep, you just have to grind out that 1-0 victory. Just nab that goal. That's exactly what we did against Dundee United. So, delighted with the episode and the way it went. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, drop down below and leave a like on the video. And obviously, if you want to follow the series, you can subscribe to the channel, which I'd be eternally grateful for. But overall, I just want to say thanks for watching, and I will see you next time for our trip up to Perth and Dundee when we take on St. Johnson and Dundee.